Welcome to another edition of Northern Heat. My name is Bob Lennon, President of Thermoid Canada and host for the show. And today our special guest, Curtis Daigle. Curtis, how are you today? I'm doing all right, man. How are you? Not bad at all. So Curtis, tell us a little bit about your business here that's in Bathurst and set up on King Avenue. And you've got all kinds of different antiques in this business, so in this store. So tell us all about uh, your business and who you are. Um, as you said, my name is Curtis Daigle. I am the owner of Antiques and Vintage. We are at 429 King Avenue Bathurst, and we have a wide range of wood furniture, vintage furniture, collectibles, antiques, some modern finishings, and just... Yeah. Mixture of stuff. Yeah, good mixture of stuff, yeah. So when we were talking before the uh, the interview, you were talking about that one thing that kind of differentiates you from everybody else is when you come to your wooden furniture, you do all the renovations and repairs and restoration yourself. Yeah, my partner and I, we do everything in-house. So all the refinishing, all of the selection of the materials, the repairs, everything is done in-house. We have our own workshops. We do all the refinishing and the repairs ourselves. So... And in your furniture, like when I'm just looking around and we have a B-roll working here too, is that you've got all kinds of dresser drawers, you got tables, you got chairs. And where do you get all these these uh, those products from? Uh, we get it from everywhere. A dealer buddy of mine used to say everywhere and anywhere. So we travel the province uh, in the summer, um, going to estate sales and just visiting people that call us up. But sometimes it's just people who roll up in their car. Hey, I got some stuff in the trunk. Cool. We go take a look. Um, and we, if I'm interested, we work out a deal and there you go. So we do that. Um, a lot of it is people calling us up saying they have stuff for sale. We go take a look. People bring stuff by. So word of mouth and like local um just dealing with the locals and yeah. people talking to people and being like, Hey, my son's moving. He's got some stuff, uh, getting rid of you interested. Sure. Send me some pictures. And we just do it from that. It's oh, very, okay. it's very, we're, we're pretty low, uh, low key here. Okay. Nothing fancy. Send me some pictures. We'll talk about it. And, um, yeah, just pretty laid back. So, you know, never done this before. And, you know, you, you think about that kind of stuff, like the, the pickers that you see on, on, uh, on TV, but yeah. You know, they go to, to see certain people that have garages or barns that are full of stuff. How do you find the people that, uh, other than calling you up, how do you find the people to go buy the furniture or any of the uh, the material that you have here, products that you got? Uh, it's mostly just someone knows someone who knows someone, and they go take a look. Sometimes it's just they'll Google antique store and bathers. Our stuff comes up, and we send them a message. And we go take a look or they'll call us because they've found out we have a store. Um, we had someone about a month ago who was moving into an old folks home and just wanted to come take a look. That's it. So it's, it's like, it's, it's just very, just, Hey, we got, we've got some stuff for sale. Okay, cool. Let me go take a look. I mean, it's, it's um, a lot of like the work is the traveling, the moving, um, cleaning, making sure the trailers are ready making sure the strapping, loading the blankets, making sure everything's loaded properly. So it's, that's the stuff. And then bring it to the workshop and then sorting it. And yeah. restore, that's all the work, but the finding it is a lot of work, but it's when you're there, it's just, okay, are we going to do, let's see, we, see if we can find something we like. And then we go from there. Well, that's kind of interesting. Now we also talked about that. You just didn't open up this store yesterday. You've been around for a little bit here. The, this, I guess, version of the store has been open for 10 years. And before I used to sell my stuff at the Knights of Columbus Farmer's Market. And then I opened with uh, a pawn shop on RL Buy and Sell on top of Teddy Gush Hill. Mm -hmm. And I was there for two years with my buddy. And when the space next door opened up, I moved there to just see if I could make a good go of it. It was a lot more space. It was obviously more money, more bills. But I really wanted to make a run at this, and I've been here ten years since. So you're on. What's the address here on on King? Four twenty nine King Avenue, Bathurst. 
and you've got both sides of this uh, this building. Three years ago, uh, my partner and I we took over this space, so we have both now. We wanted a space for furniture to really push quality wood furniture that we work on ourselves, and then we needed space for all of the collectibles, the small stuff, the lampshades, the all of the other things that are incorporated in the business. So let's talk a little bit about history. We didn't talk about this before, but, you know, talk about antiques. If I remember right, this uh, location was a dry cleaners at one time? Or am I wrong? That was quite a few years ago, but yes, it was. Um, As they say before my time, it was a dry cleaner. There was a pizza place over there. Oh, yeah. Um, Okay. You remember, what was it? uh, Kenny's TV? Yeah. I believe was also in this location. Um, You had Vienno's Pharmacy. I was here too? I believe so. Really? I may be, someone may correct me. Okay. But I believe it was Vienna's Pharmacy that was here. Before this location, it was the Denturist that was here. Um, when that place, when that closed, this was vacant for a couple of years and then we took it over because um, I was just there for a while. Yeah. So yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a oh. business has been home to many businesses over the years. Well, this interview has turned into Bathurst genealogy here, and we were learning learn a little bit more history about some of the buildings. But I hadn't really thought about all the other ones, but you're absolutely right. It was a, a big mixture of, uh, of different uh, companies that have gone through. And so, you know, you're, uh, you know, born and bred in the region here and, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, decided to stay here. And so this has been a passion of yours. How did you get into this in the first place? That was an easy one. I... I used to tinker with stuff, you know, on on the little stool as a kid, sitting in my dad's workshop, watching him work. And I sucked at it for like, God, for decades. <laughs> when I was about 21, 22, I was home, I lived with my parents then, and I found some stuff on the side of the road, an antique rocking chair. I restored it, fixed it, sold it for $45. Probably too little, but that was like, hmm. And then I did it again and again and again. And eventually I rented a space at the Bathurst Farmer's Market, the one that where the hotel is now. Yeah. I was there for a year and a half about before they closed. And then the Knights of Columbus one. Yeah. And that, so um, it was just organically where it was just like, while I was looking for stuff to fix and sell the yard sales, I was fine. Hey, old antique fire extinguisher. Hmm. Hey, maybe I could sell that. Oh, a nice lamp. Maybe I could sell that. And it just became where... I, every weekend I had a bunch of stuff on my yards, on my, in my mom's yard and I was selling stuff on the weekends, just try. And then eventually the space opened up with RL and then it became, or it was more and more and more. And then yeah, eventually I needed a big space and then I eventually took on the partner and now we do all this. So, well, you know, it's, it's one of those things of believe in the possibilities and, and you're a fine example of, of, uh, of that because, you know, you start off by finding a chair on the side of the road and fixing it all up and then seeing where that could go. And it's pretty impressive that you're able to do that. And this whole show at Northern Heat is all about talking about stories that, that are happening in our region, talking about people like yourselves that are doing things. And as far as I'm concerned, you know, you're turning up the heat and doing things in, in a different way that you wouldn't even consider. And it's a story that we don't all know about. I mean, my partner and I, we built this for, because we love dealing with the people. We love working with furniture. We love this old stuff. And it's just, I love being a part of this community. But it's, uh, it's amazing what you've been able to do. Uh, all the products in here are really interesting. I could spend hours in here looking around. I'm sure others could. Actually, one of my favorite things is when people come here, even though we're by comparison to some, we're not a huge store. And some people are in here for an hour looking every place and it makes me feel so cool because despite the fact that we're not gigantic, we have enough stuff to keep people interested. We have enough stuff that you're like, people walk through three times and be like, I didn't see that. Ask me about it. Maybe they'll buy it. And it's just, it's, it's cool when people continue to see new things. Like I said, we have a variety of modern stuff too, and lamps and decorative stuff, and we got a lot of Pyrex. And that's actually interesting because I like things that do things, like old cookware, old tools, um, old lamps. Mm-hmm. Old, like they're not just they're not just decorative; they do stuff. And that's really one of the things that started me. With this was I wanted to save some of this old furniture so it could be used again. 
And then it became where I, what about if I can save an old lamp that can be used again and then an old tool that can be used again? Um, like right now, the things that we look to most are records, tools, um, old cookware, uh, lamps. Those are things that are used again. Yeah. Instead of just throwing in a dump somewhere, and it's perfectly good. We, we, we find new homes for that stuff and make a living doing it. So well, it's pretty cool. No, it is. And because of that, I would like to uh, to give you this uh, little memento of the Northern Heat because anybody that comes on this show, they're the only ones that get it. And I think that you're uh, a definite uh, candidate to uh, to be wearing this uh, this hat. And there we go. Now you're all set and you can be part of this team. And so appreciate what you're doing for the community. I appreciate uh, the fact that you're doing this, the fact that you're you're a, a local guy that has decided to stay here in the community and do something uh, different. Uh, that's uh, really good news. And and uh, I wish you the best with uh, with your business. How do people get a hold of you if they do have products or if they want to come in here? Well, if you're interested in stopping by, we're at 429 King Avenue Bathurst. I think it's the third time we said that. Yep. And you can call me at 506-520-9881. Shoot us on. We have a Facebook page, Facebook group, Antiques and Vintage. Google Antiques and Vintage Bathurst New Brunswick. comes up right away. And yeah, if whatever way you come here, hope you're going to have yourself a nice time. Maybe find something for yourself and maybe make your day a little bit better. And there we have it. Another edition of Northern Heat for this week, the place you come to to listen to the stories that haven't been discovered yet.